Let's learn how to crochet this cat head. Let's crochet the main part. Magic ring. Wrap the thread around your pinky. Put it on the index finger. Form a coil on the middle finger. Crochet through the loop and hook the thread through. Wrap the thread from above and bring it through the loop on the crochet hook. This is a CH chain stitch. We don't do CH as a pin. For the first round we hook 6 SC single crochet. The crochet hook goes through the loop and hooks the thread through. There are now two loops on the crochet hook. Wrap the thread from above and bring it through the loop on the crochet hook. This is a SC. This looks like a pin head. We are going to hook a total of 6 SC. Hook 6 SC and take off the coil. Tensioning. Then find the position of the first stitch. Bring the thread over. And then bring it right through the loop on the crochet hook. Pull it tight. And that's the first loop. Next, urge. Then hook a second loop. The second loop is to hook 6 ink increase. That's 2 SC in each stitch. That's 12 stitches in a row. Let's start with the first stitch. Let's start with the SC. Then the second stitch is still in this stitch. Continue with the SC. This way two stitches are grouped together. We don't do CH as a header. And then we are going to continue down the hook. After 6 inks and the first shape stitch, this way the second loop is done. Next, urge. Then hook a third loop. We are going to start the third loop with a blow. The rule is 1 SC1 ink for A set. Cycle through 6 groups, 18 stitches. Blow is these 2 stitches in 1. We go through like this. Way from our half of the needle. Hook the thread out. Hook a SC. The next stitch is still the same. Hook an ink. Hook a blow like this all the way around. This way three stitches are grouped together. After the last group is hooked and the first shape stitch is made. And then hook a CH. Next, hook a fourth loop. The pattern for the fourth loop is 1 SC, 1 ink, 1 SC as a group. Repeat for 6 groups. The total number of stitches after this loop is 24. We are going to make a full stitch on the fourth loop. Hook a SC. An ink. A SC. That's 4 stitches in a row. Hook the last group. Find the position of the first shape stitch. Next, hook a CH, and then a fifth loop. The pattern for the fifth loop is 3 SC, 1 ink for 1 group. Repeat for 6 groups. There are 30 stitches in this loop. Let's start with 3 SC. Then we hook an ink. 
This way, five stitches are grouped together. Hook the last and first sheep stitch. Then hook a ch. Next, hook a sixth loop. The pattern for the sixth loop is two scs and an ink. Two scs for one group. Repeat for six groups. There are 36 stitches in this loop. Let's start with 2SC. Then we hook an ink. Then hook 2SC. This way 6 stitches are grouped together. Hook the last and first shape stitch. Next hook a CH. Then hook a 7th loop. For the 7th loop, we'll start with 5 SC, 1 ink for group. Hook 2 groups first. Then hook an ink. That's 7 stitches in a row. Give him another set of hooks. After the second set, we'll hook 5 more SCs. Hook a SC in the 5th stitch here in the unfinished stitch. And then we'll add the white yarn to it. After changing the white yarn, we hook an ink. Press the thread on top of the crochet hook in the next stitch. The second SC of ink. Here we hook a SC in an unfinished stitch. And then we switch back to the original thread. And then the original line. Hook three sets of five SC, one ink. An ink. Then the remaining two groups give it a bit of a finish as well. Hook up the last group. We are with the first sheep stitch. Next, we hook a ch and then the eighth loop. For the eighth loop, we will start with two sets of hooks: three SC, one ink, three SC. Hook three SC first. Then hook an ink. Then hook three more SC. This makes a group of eight stitches. Another set of hooks. After the second set, we are going to go down to the next three SCs and we are going to go down to the next three SCs. And then we hook an ink. Then hook an SC. This SC is an unfinished stitch of ASC. And then we'll replace the white yarn. After we're done, hook three more SCs down with white thread. The third SC is also an unfinished stitch in SC. Then switch back to the original thread. After the change, we hook to SC.
Then we hook another ink. Then three more SCs. When you're done, and then two more sets of hooks. Three SC, one ink, three SC. A group of eight stitches. And then a shape stitch with the first stitch. Then hook a CH. Then hook a ninth loop. Hook 21 SC. Our 21st stitch, crochet ASC in an unfinished stitch, then replace the white thread. Be careful when switching lines here, leave him a little slack at the back, don't pull it too tight. Then continue to hook 5 SC with the white thread. For the fifth SC hook ASC in an unfinished stitch, then switch back to the original yarn. Hook 22 more SC with the original yarn. Keep hooking until the end. Finish the loop with 48 stitches. And then the shape stitch with the first stitch. Next hook a CH, and then a 10th stitch. For the 10th loop, we'll start with 20 SC on the same thread. Let's start with 19 SC. Who can finish the stitch here in the 20th SC? Then switch to white yarn. Hook 7 SC in white yarn. Seven SC here hook A SC in an unfinished stitch, switching back to the original yarn. After replacing the original yarn, Hook 21 more SC with the original thread. That's a total of 48 stitches. Hook the last stitch and the first sheep stitch. Hook ACH. Next, hook the 11th loop. For the 11th loop, we'll start with 19 SC on the same thread. Nineteenth SC, here crochet ASC in an unfinished stitch, then change to white thread. Change the white line. Hook 9 SC with white thread.
Hook A is seen in the ninth stitch here for an unfinished stitch. Then switch back to the original thread. After the change, we'll hook 20 more SC with the original thread. After this round, the stitch count is still 48. Hook the last stitch and the first shape stitch. Next, make the 12th loop. Hook ACH. Let's start by hooking 18 SC with the original thread. For the 18th SC hook A is seeing an unfinished stitch, then change the white line. Change the white line. Hook 11 SC with white thread. Eleventh SC here hook A is seeing an unfinished stitch. Then switch back to the original thread. Reuse the original line. Hook the rest of the SC. That's 19. Hook the last stitch and the first shape stitch. Then hook ACH. Hook 16 SC with the original thread. And then in this next stitch, we are going to start hooking a puff stitch. We are hooking a puff stitch with four unfinished double crochets. Crocheting around the thread through the stitch, hook the thread over. Bring the wire over the first two coils. This looks like a DC unfinished needle. We are going to hook a total of four. Second one. Third, fourth after four hooks, we are winding five loops on the crochet hook in a single breath. And then we hook a CH. This CH from the side. In this place, we are not going to crochet in this position for the next loop. Here in this CH, it's time to change the yarn. So let's take this white thread and pull it through. Change it to a white line. After you change the white wire, we are in the next stitch here. And then hook down 14 SC.
Next. Hook A is C in an unfinished stitch, and then switch to the original line. We use the original line. Then we take down, replace the original line. We are going to start hooking a puff stitch Q in the next stitch, and we are going to do the same thing we did earlier. And then the crochet hook is brought through 5 loops in one breath. It's the same thing. The CH on top of this we are not using as a destination. And then go on to hook down 16SC. After the 16SC and the first shape stitch. And then we are going to take this puff stitch and we are going to push it out a little bit. Then hook a CH and then we hook a 14th loop. 14th loop, start by hooking 15SC with the original line. Hook the 14th SC, for this 15th SC hook ASC in an unfinished stitch. Then change to white thread. Hook down the white line. 18 short stitches. As I said, this doesn't count as a stitch. Then we'll jump straight to the white stitch and crochet it. Hook up 17SC, we are at the 18th SC here. Hook a SC of unfinished stitches, then replace the original thread. After the change, we will continue with the next stitch and continue with the SC. That's 15 SC. That's 48 stitches. Hook the last stitch and the first shape stitch. Next hook a CH. The next 15th through 17th loops are all hooked the same way. That's 14 SC. Then switch to white thread and hook 20 SC. And then switch back to the original thread. Crochet 14 short stitches. The total number of stitches is 48. Let's start with 14 SC. Change to a white yarn here on the 14th stitch. After changing the white yarn, we will use the white thread to hook 20SC.
at the 20th SC here, who can finish stitch in one SC, then switch back to this regional thread. Hook the remaining 14 SC with the original thread. Hook the last SC and the first ship stitch. Then do the same for the next 16th and 17th rounds. Finish it up for him. After the 17th hook, we hook ACH and then the 18th loop. We'll start by hooking 3 SC. Then we hook a deck. Deck directly picks this stitch flow. And then pick the flow of the next stitch. Bring the thread through these two flows. We wind the thread directly over the loop on the crochet hook. This looks like a deck. Then hook six more SC. After hooking the 6 SC, hook another deck. Then hook 2 SC. In this second SC here, let's change him to a white line. After we change the white wire, we are going to hook 4 more SC with the white thread. Then hook a deck. Then hook 6 more SC. And then a deck. And then 5 more SC. Here in the 5th SC, hook a SC in an unfinished stitch. Then switch back to the original thread. Hook a SC. Next stitch a deck. Then 6 more SC, 1 deck. Last hook 3 SC. The stitch count after this loop is 42. We are in the first shape stitch. And then we hook ACH. Let's hook the 19th loop. We'll start with 5 SC. One deck, hook 2 groups. Two, three, four, five. Hook a deck. Then a second deck.
The second group of this deck hook him up with the deck's unfinished stitches, then change to white thread. After changing the white wire, we hook 5SC with white thread. One deck hook two groups. And then one SC. This SC hooks ASC with unfinished stitches. Change the original thread. Then hook for SC. One deck. And then hook the last set. 5SC, one deck. With the first stitch of the ship stitch. Next hook ACH, and then the 20th loop. For the 20th loop, we don't need to change the line. We're just going to crochet with the same thread. Crochet 2SC, 1 deck, 2SC, hook 6 sets. And then we're hooking into the white. When we hook to the white line, give it a little bit of line pressure, and then just cut the white line off. First hook 2SC, and then hook a deck, and then 2SCs. This makes a group of 5 stitches. Hook up the last group and the first ship stitch. Next hook ACH, and then hook the 21st loop. Hook 3 SCs here, a deck for a group, repeat for 6 groups, the stage count for this round is 24, let's start with 3 SC. And then we'll hook a deck. That's 4 stitches in a group. When you're done, we are with the first ship stitch. And then we hook ACH. At this point, you can fill him with some cotton. After you've stuffed the cotton, we'll hook up for lap 22. We'll start with ASC. And then we'll hook a deck. Then take two more SC. One deck. Then we hook a puff stitch. The hook for this puff stitch is the same as the previous one.
and then take down hook two sets one is c a deck a is c one is c a deck one is c one set one is c deck SC After hooking up For the next stage, we are going to hook a puff stage And then we'll follow that up with a deck. And then take two SC. Then take one deck. Finish the circle. The number of stitches is 18. And then the shape stitch. Then hook a ch. Then hook the twenty third ch. One sc and one deck for a group. Repeat for six groups. The number of stitches after this round is twelve. We've hooked a sc and then we hook a deck. This way two stitches are grouped together. When we're done, we'll stitch with the first sheep stitch. And then we hook a ch. Disconnect. Then close the opening with a sewing needle. Pick this stitch directly to flow. That's the half stitch near us. Hook a loop through. When you leave your own lines, you can leave them longer. I left it a little short. After picking the outer half of all stitches, then we tighten it.
and that's how we tighten it up. Now hide the line. And that's it for the main part. Next we'll hook the ears. Magic ring hook 3 SCs first. Then tighten the coil. And the first shape stitch. Then hook a CH. Next, hook a second loop. Hook 3 ink. After the three ink hooks, the first shape stitch. There are six stitches in this loop. Then hook A C H, and then the third loop. Hook A S C, one ink for one group. Hook three groups. The finished stitch is nine stitches. One set. Two groups. Three groups. And the first shape stitch. Next, hook a CH. On the fourth loop, we hook nine SC. After we have hooked the 9 SC, we'll make a shape stitch with the first stitch. Next, we'll take this thread and cut it. 
and then we hook A C H. Next, hook a fifth loop. Hook A S C and ink one S C for one group. Hook three groups. That's twelve stitches. One group. An ink. An SC. Two groups. Three sets of three after the hook and the first ship stitch. Hook A C H. Leave a long thread for sewing later. Then we take the two strands of white, and then we take the two white strands and we sew them together. This is the inner part of the cat's ear. It's probably a triangle. This looks like this and then we follow this order. Fill it up. Just keep stitching like that. Fill in the gaps in between. And then it'll look like this. And then I'll hide the white lines for him. Disconnecting the line. Then we sewed the ears back together. This is what I'm going to keep for later, and then do the same with another one. And then the top of the head. Crochet through the flow of the first stitch. Hook the thread over here. Hook to CH. We'll start by crocheting ADC unfinished stitch. The next stitch is still an unfinished DC. When you hook this thread is still the same. Give it some pressure. Then bring it through three coils in one breath. This looks like a set. Give it a loop. Let's hook up the last one. And then we are going to stitch with the first one. Hook A C H. Then we hook 6 S C.
after we have hooked the 6SC and the first ship stitch. Then hook ACH. Disconnect. Next, hide the thread. Next, sew in the ears together. Let's start by getting him an approximate location. Use these two arms as the reference position in the center. That's about it. The other side is done in the same way. Stitch it up. Next, we'll do the eyes. Finding a centered position. And then the nose. Also in this row. It's like this. After we get the eyes in position. Prepare to go offline. We'll sew up the cat's whiskers later. We can crochet with black thread. First, we'll stitch the whiskers in place. Use a strand of thread.
It's like this. The other side is also sewn in a symmetrical position. After the whiskers are sewn on, we'll start gluing the eyes. It's a nose. That's all it takes. 